15 years, Bitcoin has gone from merely an idea posted anonymously on an internet message board to being the ninth most valuable asset anywhere in the world. Can you believe that? Is that right? That's a big deal. Think of that. It's already bigger than ExxonMobil. Soon it will be surpassing the entire market cap of silver. It's not bad. How about gold? How about gold? Let's go gold. And one day it probably will overtake gold, but based on the way it's going now, it could very well be a possibility. There's never been anything like it, and I don't think you've ever seen anything like it. And most people have no idea what the hell it is. You know that, right? So what happens when they figure it out? That's going to really be something. 15 years, Bitcoin is gone. All right, guys, welcome back. I wanted to play that. We had Trump visiting the Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville, Tennessee. Came out, uh, made some good points, and let's just go through them. He made some other political stuff about the, uh, the dude that's stepping down, whatever. Who cares? I don't care about that other guy. But uh, Trump's the man. Trump is the Bitcoin politician, the candidate for Bitcoin. And here's why. Uh, definitely he got on board with Bitcoin. Let's go look at this real quick. This is a great summation by Ron Paul 69. I don't know who this guy is. Well, let's find out. Twitter. I used to hate low Twitter, Twitter 1.0, because it was just horrible. And they knew what they were doing. It was just a bad setup. Musk buys it. It's actually now it seems like a reasonably decent platform. And you're getting a lot of news. Number one news source now beats all the legacy media stuff. And I've been hooked on it lately, the past couple of weeks. Get the news instantly. You get some wrong stuff, obviously but you at least know it's not 100% skewed propaganda from the legacy media, which is the case, either whatever. They just want to tell you what you want, it, what they want you to know, right? This uh, Twitter's good, so go check it out. But careful, it is uh, bad stuff to it as well. You can go down spider webs, uh, spider webs, spider holes, squirrel holes, and never come out, rabbit holes, and it can get dark real quick. So just keep it clean and you'll find some good information. Um, yeah, if you screw up too, you get called out right away. And if other people screwed up, like the Olympics, pushing out that crap they did, uh, they got called out right away. Now they're backtracking and trying to delete and scrub the internet. And uh, the internet is forever. You cannot scrub that. So let's go through Donald Trump. 2024 Bitcoin conference speech recap. And then and, uh, Senator Loomis, I never heard of her, came out and mentioned something as well. All right, let's just zip through this. We can read together. Yeah, on day one, I, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, will fire. He's going to fire a lot of people. He's going to drain that swamp of the deep state. Commie, bad player actors are, oh my God, you don't realize how deep and thick it is. It's a dirty, thick swamp, and there's going to be a lot of cleaning. But anyway, he's going to fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. Very good. Everyone applauded. When he said that in that conference center, they all applauded that. He will create a U.S. government strategic national Bitcoin stockpile if elected. It's going to like parallel gold, you know, because we have no gold standard anymore. As of 19, was it 72? They moved the U.S. dollar off the gold standard, which is why you got to look at why people do things. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It's a big club. We ain't in it. Shut up and eat your slop, peasant. That's you got to realize we're peasants, right? And the government and the FEC, SEC, the Fed, all these people are just, I don't know, it's bad. All right, U.S. government will keep 100% of Bitcoin it owns. Unlike Germany, these idiots in Germany, what the hell's going on in Germany? They dumped all their Bitcoin. And there was a little, you know, you saw the um, Bitcoin kind of come down a little bit last week. Bitcoin market consumed it. And that was on top of that Mount Gox bull crap. Or, you know, that whole freaking Jap exchange thing really upsets me. But anyway, now Bitcoin's recover. It's consuming all this Bitcoin coming back into the market from Germany, which is done. And uh, we are looking good. Uh, let's see. Never sell your Bitcoin. He made a valid point. And he, he even said Bitcoin is going to the moon. He made some interesting. But whoever is advising him on Bitcoin, maybe it's his son. They got it right. They gave him the best position, the best things to say. And we'll talk about the reaction to it as well. Uh, never sell your Bitcoin, right? Never, never, never. Why would you sell it if it's going to go up, man? You know, I'm going to buy a pizza with one Bitcoin. Well, your Bitcoin is now worth $100 million. That was an expensive pizza. Yeah. 
Use it as leverage, use it as store of value, digital gold, man. Uh, Bitcoin will one day probably surpass the market cap of gold. Yeah, yeah, gold is boring to me. People say, get back on the gold train, get on the silver train. When I was in freaking college, I bought silver and gold, actual the coins and some bars. What the hell did I ever do with that? It just sat around, fear of getting lost. Uh, what am I gonna shave off little pieces of gold and go buy a, a cupcake with it? No, it's crap. Uh, even money, even a mutual fund, no, I'm done with gold. I've been there, I've held it for years and didn't do anything. I'm gonna buy stuff where I either get dividends or I can I really stand behind it like Bitcoin. And with Bitcoin, the whole ecosystem is awesome. As I've said before in other videos, you have a whole derivative set of other ways to get into Bitcoin versus having the cust custody of the Bitcoin and putting it in your own wallet. If you don't wanna go there, that's fine because you gotta know about addresses and moving stuff and scams and don't screw it up and don't lose your Bitcoin. You can buy the um, various boo, BlackRock boo, evil BlackRock. Uh, and Vanguard is not the great user, but you can buy their ETFs. Fidelity's ETF is good too. They have a Bitcoin ETF. Problem is not your keys, not your coins. And you can only trade it during normal trading hours. And you do not get dividends or anything on top of it. You're just like a stock. It's just a stock. Uh, I'm trying to think. You can actually, a good thing is you can trade it in your IRA and Roth and not worry about the tax crap. Because tax man, they want to take all your money out of your wallet and give it over to these other countries overseas while our country decays. I'm not just freaking saying that. Look at what's going on. It's bad. Uh, taxation is theft. Uh, let's see. Unless they're giving the taxes to something that actually helping you in your community, but they don't. It's it's just bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, the former two FBI guys that were busted or fired for uh, I don't know years ago. They were given some I don't. They were given millions by the government because uh, their tweets were exposed. It's just such a crime. Crime pays with some of these politicians too. I'm sick of it. Anyway, that was your taxes paying him. All right, let's see. He reaffirms his pledge to commute. Ross Albright's sentence. That's gold. The crowd went crazy on that one. Look it up. Look up Ross Albright and you understand why. Uh, there will never be a CBDC, a central banking digital currency, while I am president of the U.S. And that is, if they do pass that and they, we do get it, that is how they will control you. They will see, like on your credit card, what you buy. And uh, what, you, what you're spending your money on, they will be able to control what you buy. Say you go to a store and you've been a bad citizen, like um, uh, they know your thoughts or they know you, you, you just posted something that go against the regime or the narrative. Well, sorry, Timmy, you said something bad against our, our leader saying that he, he's mentally incapacitated. Well, you're not going to be able to buy food this week. That, you got to watch that crap. That's scary. That's almost the mark of the beast crap. But I think the Social Security number is the mark of the beast. Having a social security number, I think that's the market beast. You cannot buy, trade, sell, or do anything. Without a social security number, you can't do anything. So I think that we're already there. We have that mark. All right, let's go on. Bitcoin and crypto will skyrocket like never before if elected president. Yeah, it's set, man. All the consolidation has been going on uh, for the past couple of months. The uh, blah, 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 what are the ETFs consuming Bitcoin? Nom, 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 nom. Just gobble, like I said, those little Germans, those little Germans, hey, the, the, the Fatherland the Bitcoin, they sold all their Bitcoin, the Fatherland people. And uh, what a dumb move. Yeah, what the hell's going on in Germany, man? <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, well, well, who cares? People, people consumed it. They bought it up. Um, MicroStrategy bought it up. What's that other evil empire? And, um, BlackRock. Yeah, they bought it up. They love their Bitcoin now. Anyway. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The current U.S. government is threatening the dollar. Good point he made. Very good point. Oh, what else we got? The U.S. will be the crypto capital of the Z planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world. I believe it. Yeah, look at all the countries afraid of it, but now they're starting to adopt it. El Salvador is way on board. Um, China hated miners for a while. I don't know what's going on with their crypto miners. But Trump even said he's going to stand behind crypto mining, help the companies there as well. Uh, one of the crypto miners I do have that I've been making money on by buying and selling is Wolf, W-U-L-F. They're down a bit right now. I'm a bit in the red, not good, but because I didn't set my freaking sell trigger. I missed it. I'm dumb. You got to be on that. Otherwise, you'll be crying in your pillow because you're red. Hoping, and you're hoping for the price to come back up so you can uh, break even or make a couple bucks. It's, you got to watch that. You can only ever lose all of your money. 
All right. I pledge to the Bitcoin community that the day I take the oath of office, Joe Biden, commit, commit, cam, I don't know, bye, 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 bye. Uh, anti crypto crusade will be over. They actually do hate crypto, these people in office right now. They want to take it from you. They want to, I don't know, it's just bad, man. They make a bad environment for it. So, right after uh, he left stage, Trump left stage, Senator Loomis came on stage holding a bill legislation establishing a strategic Bitcoin reserve for the USA to buy a million, 5% of the total Bitcoin supply over five years and to hold it for at least 20 years. That's pretty fantastic, guys. The stage, the baseline has been set. Where uh, it was a good thing. I'm glad he came out. Uh, I'm I'm amazed he just he actually addressed some Bitcoin concerns. These talking points instead of just you know bashing Harris, which we already know it's a, it's a crap show with that whole Democratic thing. And you wonder what's going on. I won't say anymore. I'm not. I, it just seems very dicey what's happening right now. Anyway, all right, let's go look at the current Bitcoin price. Lamo. So this was interesting when he started to come out. I don't know what I, I don't understand exactly how the freaking crypto price is affected like this. I thought it was based on all these equations. Is someone actually putting in numbers and they're and they're wearing these little tin hats that affect the price? Because he comes out and it kind of people sell because they're afraid what's going to happen. They probably panicked. So, 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 so. And then what happened? It corrected down what uh, from 60, oh, 68, 9. Oh, I can't read that. 69 down to oh my god it went down to 66 8 and then he's there talking and it's kind of mun munging in here and all of a sudden blammo right near the end and then when uh the senator came out whatever she was with the legislation boom it came right back if you were a smart player buy like the little buy signal and then gablamo not too bad of a return in a matter of five minutes <laughs> ten minutes I'm on a five minute chart looking at trading view right now. So people say, oh, look at the reaction to Trump. They didn't know what he was gonna do. In his past, he wasn't really a Bitcoin dude, but someone really got to him. He's listened and he realized and sees the value of it. And uh, very good. Almost Bitcoin is freedom, it's America. Come on, right? That's what people like. Uh, let's see, and why else is BlackRock buying it up? Eh. All right, what else is happening? Oh, let's see, I did that, I did that. All right, that's it. I want to talk about that. There's some bullets. It is all good news. So just so you know, crypto people, it's very good news that he came out and spoke there. And uh, the senator followed him up, double, you know, tag teaming. It was a home run. All right. It was very good for Bitcoin. Um, again, I still don't know how this, someone talking on a stage affects the price of Bitcoin. I thought it was all other mechanics. Someone needs to sit my little butt down and explain, well, there's a speech. And all of a sudden it went down. Is somebody putting in equations? Or what is his Bitcoin sentient? What I don't get it. I'm just actually being honest. I have no freaking idea how it could be affected like that. I don't know. Oh well. Anyway, let's go on. Where are we at today? All right, let's do a summation of what I've been up to. Bitcoin is at 68748. Uh I have quite a bit of Bitcoin. I'm happy with that. Uh I'm never gonna sell it. You know, that's my that's just my that's it. It's out there holding on to that puppy. Uh, probably not going to add to it because it's high. it's going to go higher, but I'm going to, I want to get paid also for holding it. So I'm looking at, here's my evolution. I started with FBTC, the Fidelity Bitcoin ETF. Why? Well, I could put it in my Roth. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I made it easier to trade. I had money in my Roth IRA and that. And the problem is holding this turd, not a turd, but holding this thing, I'm not getting paid anything. I'm not getting dividends, interest or anything. And that sucks. Then I come to find out about, um, I'm gonna get to the yield max funds, which are paying dividends. I also have Wolf, like I said, as a miner. That's, that's my fun one. No dividends, but you buy and sell. It's very up and down. So you can time it, set your sell limits at six bucks, make a couple bucks. Then when it dips back down to 450, buy, it just repeat, right? And they love it. It's a darling of the miners. It's very performant, optimized business. So look into Wolf if you're into it. Oh, I have to say this because people are not the smartest in the world. This is entertainment. This is my journey. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an idiot in a house on an island talking about stuff I'm doing. If you take advice from anyone on YouTube, that's your problem. That's on you. Don't do it. You have a computer. Look into stuff. If you're passionate about it, you know, invest what you want to invest and be willing to lose it all. It's gambling. Having said that, you got to say that, crap. It's so sad. The world we live in, people actually believe you're the poobah of investing. I'm just showing you my journey. 
All right, so we have yield max. What is yield max? These are these uh, funds that use options and puts or whatever. I don't understand it. I use, I pay the um, expense fee on whatever the expense ratio is on their fund to handle that for me. What I like about them is they have a nice, sweet little dividend. So let's go look at Misty. What is Misty? Misty is based on MicroStrategy. Uh, it's not MicroStrategy. It's just an option income strategy ETF with MicroStrategy as their focus. So you can see the journey and what they do every month about the, uh, the eighth of the month, they pay out dividends. When they pay out a dividend, the price will correct as with any dividend stock, even the, the big, uh, the big uh, Dow Jones stocks, Parkner Gamble, Exxon, after they pay a dividend, they, the price goes down a bit. So if you really wanna buy into these things, you wait until these uh, yield max funds pay out their dividend, then you buy in, cause you're gonna, you know, your net asset, investment price will go down so you're not buying at the high and then it, the next day it drops two bucks because they paid out their nice sweet dividend and now you're already net asset values drop you don't want to be in a hole so then what you do is you dollar cost average each month on these payout dates and it's it's a win-win on the net asset value but it's also a win on the dividend we'll get in that to one second um yeah you want a dollar cost average and you want to do it once they pay out the dividend and the price kind of corrects a buck or two each yield max fund starts at 20 bucks and then you can kind of get a good value how it's doing over the past few months when they came out some are new there's a new one came out uh, this week uh drip which is the inverse of nvidia so if nvidia is going down which it is there's uh then the drip will go up it's like shorting it but i don't know that's all i know it's brand new i don't know the dividend payment on it so what you do with these, um, oh my God, what you do with these yield max funds, especially Misty, I like Misty because Michael Saylor owns MicroStrategy. He has 1% of the Bitcoin. He owns a lot. He's been pro a proponent of Bitcoin for years. And uh, what you want to do and treat these as is not just a stock, not just a stock where you hope and have hopium that it's going to go up in net as high value. You really don't want it to go down too much, but you want a dollar, dollar cost averaging as your friend. Uh, you can say buy the dips, but usually the dip is after they pay the dividend. You want to treat these as real estate. What does that mean? You can go out and buy a house and rent it out. There's upkeep, there's costs and all that stuff. Uh, you're really looking at the return each month. You're getting paid that rent. That's what you want. Um, with this Misty one, MSTY ticker symbol, is uh, you treat it, most of them too. There's other ones out there. You can go find which one you love, but um, they pay 90% plus dividend. Unbelievable, guys. I did say that. I'm not going to talk about taxes. Taxes are not that hard. You get your statement and you can see how much you owe. So there, it's not that hard. But don't ask about that. I do do it through an IRA, a Roth, and all that stuff. So that's a different beast. But the game plan is to treat these as real estate and get that sweet, sweet monthly dividend. Why I am, I've always started out as a dividend investor from a long time ago, had Exxon for years, everything, all these companies paying dividends three to 7%, you know, and you get it every quarter. You know, some were month, one was monthly, it was the, I forget, the real estate one, O, ticker civil O, realty income, I can't remember. But that was a measly couple percent. But with these things, these yield max funds, they are life-changing money. You can make it as monthly income and you can get thousands with a small investment. All right, so treat it as real estate. That's my approach. Uh, watch the net asset value. If they go way too low, like closer to 10, like they open at 20 and you can get an idea of the historical value. Like we're looking at Misty, which is at 30, not too bad, really good performance. It, it has been up to 40, I believe. Let's go out. Can we go out? Let me see. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm going to do a four hour. This is trading view, like I said. And year to date. Oh, that's ugly. What is going on here? Hold on a sec. Make it readable. Try to make this readable. Wow, what a mess. Hold on. Wow, that's really scrunched up there. What is the high here? Woo! Hold on a sec. I'm, I'm trying to make it readable. I really had it zoomed in. There we go. Much better, big daddies. Wow, we're up to 46. So right now we're at 30. So this thing could come back to 46. 
So there's two ways to look at it. One is the real estate you're buying just to get the monthly income. Two is net asset erosion or gain. Uh, this thing is up and down. This is not bad. And look at the volume on this thing. Holy crap, it's taken off. And here's the dividends date. Look, you can kind of get a warm fuzzy. See how it goes down? Look at the D right there. See how it goes down a little bit? That one didn't go down too much after the dividend date. Uh, this one did first, third, and fourth. They only paid out four dividends. It's only been around a few months. This one too went down a few bucks. See that from the day before to the day after. Ditto on the most recent one back in July, early July 8th. It went down a few bucks. 28 to 20, eh, 25. So that's how you play those, man. Wait for the dividend. And then you'll be good to go. Um, you can go over here. Let's see if there's a volume on this thing. The volume is 681K. Is there a dividend yield? That's not completely accurate. 162. All right. Let's go look at this. You can see the history. All right. Let's go over here. I want to show you this. Yield max ETFs. Go to your best friend. It's Google, right? Your best friend is Google. If you have a question, just ask Google. I mean, it's, there's some bias on some subject, then go do, do another search engine as well. Look up Yield Max ETF. She'll come to the main page. Come over here to our ETFs. Click on it. There you go. Well, let's get to the main page. There's short option ones. Dips is the one that just came out. NVIDIA short option income. Fiat is, goes against Coinbase, is shorting it. Crash. I do have this and it's down a bit. Uh, net asset value has eroded because Tesla took off. Of all things. But then they came out with a horrible earnings report and sales numbers because no one's buying EVs. I don't know, it went back up, but not up to where I'm broke even yet. But I'm still getting the dividend. So you have a Tesla short. Now the ones over here too, go through them all. You can check them out. There's the Misty right there. MicroStrategy option income. I am not an option expert. I have no idea. I am paying these guys. I mean, you're basically using their funds and helping them make money too. And they're helping you make a lot of money. And what does that mean? Let's see if I can get this in here. How do we, there we go, full ETF list. All right. It's almost like these guys are helping the, the little man, but you gotta watch out for net asset erosion as well. You gotta, you know, high risk in everything, big daddies. High risk in everything. All right, here we have them all. Here's their ticker symbols. Here is their distribution rate. Yes, you are reading that correctly. Look at these, some of these are low. Here's Nvidia is the top one. Because, of course, NVIDIA took off right after I sold it, of course. So that was stupid timing on my part. Sometimes the best thing to do with your portfolio is to not touch it. <laughs> you know, you get out of your own way. Here they all are. Go look, them at, go look at them for yourself. But yeah, Misty, here's what I like. 91.39%. It was 100 last month. And what's NVIDIA at? Hold on a sec. Where's NVDY? 115. Schmackaroos. Wow. That's percent, guys. We're talking, you put in 10,000 bucks, you're getting, what, 1,100 or something back? A month. And I'm not bullshitting you, man. Not bullshitting you. And um, yeah, it's pretty sweet right now. So here we have 91%. It makes you wonder all these other drips, dividends you've been getting that are 8%, even 20%. You, you almost want to call BS on these, uh, these um, funds, these ETFs or these, these dividend companies, these stocks. How much are they really keeping? If, they're ma if some of these things are making this much, 90%, it you makes you wonder. You're just getting a percentage of the actual return. It makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. You know, I don't know. Just the uh, spidey tingling is up and the, the radar is on going, I don't know, Will Robinson, something's fish here. But if you're doing this and you're getting 91% on your investment a month, it's I've gotten two payouts and it's it is actually it works. It's there and I missed these my big one. Crash, where's crash at? Crash has hurt me a little bit. But let's see. And then I set value wise, but I'm still getting paid the dividend. And um sometimes I don't follow my own rules, but I always want to get paid for holding a stock. And uh I made a mistake of holding Tesla and I wasn't gonna pay anything for a year or so. It's just sitting there. Oh, price appreciation. Come on, price appreciation. I hate that. I want to get paid the monthly dividend while I'm holding your stock. That, to me, is the way to go. Uh, of course, the price will go up and down because you're paying a dividend, but big deal. I want to get paid accordingly and not just hope it goes up. All right. Because, again, it's like real estate. You're investing 
in that property, hoping to get returns on it. Uh, monthly returns. Where is crash at? It's right in front of my, there it is, crash. Uh, yield max short Tesla option income strategy. 63%, 63% guys. Yeah, yeah. So what you could do, they call it inverse pairs. If you wanna preserve your capital, if you just learn how to use these things, you could actually take crash, which is shorting Tesla, and then get Tesla, which is the one that is Tesla. It's not buying the stock, it's doing options on the stock. So you can pair, uh, let's see, what are the pairs? Oh, I'm just gonna read them off to you. Tesla and crash, NVIDIA, and the new one is dips, D-I-P-S. So you can do NVIDIA with dips, and then you pretty much are preserving your, your basically investment and you're making interest yet. So one's gonna go down, the other's gonna go up. So your core investment is gonna pre pretty much, I don't know, stay the same. That, I have to try this with a, just a couple bucks once. Like maybe I will just with like, like say a thousand bucks each. Maybe I'll go and buy a thousand of NVDY ETF and then I'll buy a thousand of dips and just see if, what the NAV erosion is in addition to the dividend I get each month. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about that, man? You got to try crap, sometimes not with much money, just to see how it works, and then go from there instead of plopping everything down. Like, uh, if you love these things and you're listening to me, or so, oh, he might be on to something, but again, it's for entertainment. This is my stupid journey, and, you know, you could always lose everything. But say you went in here and plopped it right before the day before it paid dividends, and you put in a big sum, that's stupid, because now you're down, the next day it's gonna pay out dividends, and it's gonna drop a few bucks. Now you're kinda in the whole net asset value, and you gotta wait a whole month, and it may go down, you're kinda in the red, but you're gonna get the dividend, but still you're in the red. So dollar cost average, when they pay out the dividends. Let's go back. Losing my train of thought here. And there should be a schedule. Let's click on one, click on the one you want. Oh, the other one is Coney, is Coinbase options and fiat is the inverse. See, there's three pairs I know of right now. There's fiat, dips, uh, and look at, you can see there's coin, and there's a Connie, C-O-N-Y. So there's something to look into, do some research, figure it out, you know. I might play with that. That might be a good idea Monday to put a thousand in each and just, just to see what it does. If it actually will, I don't know, if it actually will preserve your capital as you're making the interest and they, go, they both seesaw. One's gonna go up while the other goes down crash and Tesla. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's worth a try. Because uh, making my piddly 3% is just not going to get you anywhere. It's going to keep you broke. It's going to keep you working at a job you don't like, and it's going to stress you out. So why not work with the yield max dudes? I don't know. I just think I, they're onto something. I don't know. I love it. So let's go. Let's go to Misty. Misty, baby. Lamo. Click on Misty, and you wait for it to load. Booty, 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 boo. My advice is get Trading View. It really tells you. It shows you the candles right here, the spikes and that. I like this view. So you can go in, and then I kind of get a warm feeling. Like if I'm looking at Wolf, it gives me a, a better feeling of where the tops were. Like right here, see them shoot up these top. Now I know. So I put this this order. Oh, not order. I set this alert right here, so if it gets to that, then I have I I should put in I have to do that Monday or put in a sell order at that price because that was the last all time high. So if it crosses that again, boom, just dump it because you know it's going to pull back. You know, right here was the buy. It's pulling back. I was you know I really should have set it at six. I was going to and I didn't. Yeah, well now I'm down. I'm probably negative for a bit in the red, big daddies, in the red. <laughs> Uh, what was I doing? Let's go look at the schedule payout. So 91.3, this does fluctuate. This isn't fixed. You know, as it does better, this drops a little bit, but geez, man, 91%, insane. All right, so here's the declared date. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Usually on the uh, 8th. Oh, this one paid on the 5th. This paid on the 6th of June. May was the 6th, so around there. You just gotta watch when they do it. I'm trying to find schedules. You want the schedules, click here. Woo, big daddy. All right, schedules, R-E-T-S, distribution schedule, cover calls. All right. Is this 
20 tour distribution for covered calls and short options. All right, five, six. Yeah, that's what it paid it on July. Yep. So the next one coming up is August declaration date. They'll tell you how much you're going to pay you on the percentage wise. And then the uh, date is the 7th. So payment date is the 8th. So around the 7th and 8th, watch for the price to drop a few bucks. And maybe you want to buy in, which is my plan. And uh, reinvest the dividends I get and keep uh, compounding, big daddies. Keep compounding. Get more shares. The more money you can get, you, may, you can make this a living income. Again, it does fluctuate, but it's a good way to back up whatever you're making off your gerb, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think about there? Are you messing with these things? The plan now, going forward, I like the Trump speech. I love it on the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, it was weird that it, it made that movement on TradingView. Uh, Bitcoin is 68599. <clears throat> Let's see, Big Dad. Yeah, there we're coming back up. So, is that Bitcoin? Yeah. Oh, here I did, uh, is that four hours? Am I on the four hour? I'm on a daily. Let's let's go to the four hour. Ooh, big dad. That's interesting. Yeah. That it's just I don't get why it does that. Who's controlling Bitcoin for it to drop when some guy is giving a speech? It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, that's a, that's a, I'm gonna look into that today. It's driving me nuts. Uh, it must be sentient. So there we are. That's where I'm at. I have some other turds I bought. Listen to other people. Don't listen to other people. I bought this thing at two bucks. It's at 84 cents because they decided to stop producing items. Damn. I'm just going to hold it because what's the point in dumping in, you know, a 50% loss? I'm just holding that. That was stupid. You got to not be stupid. So don't be me and don't be stupid. Uh, yeah. I must have been dropped a lot as a baby. But uh, there we go. I'm watching Misty. I want to roll out of this FBTC ETF. Why? Because I have Misty. Misty's tied to Bitcoin as well. And I get paid the dividend. So I want to get out of this thing that's doing me nothing other than, oh my God, I pray that's going to go up. I'm sick of that. I want to get paid each month. That's my goal. So I want to roll some of this out of this fund and move it into Misty for the August 8th, 7th timeframe when it pays the dividend and I'll be uh, shoring up that position. All right, that's all I got. Nice long video of where I'm at, 32 minutes, but it gives you what I'm doing, my path, learning from mistakes. I'm still up overall, but again, some stuff is pulling me down a little bit. Things are moving again. I think next week may be a good week, I hope. Uh, the Fed will probably not cut rates. I don't think they're going to cut it till September, uh, but they do meet Wednesday, right? So prepare for that shock and awe in the market again. Uh, anyway, what are you guys doing? Let me know if you know about this yield max stuff, what you think. I know dividend, high, do, high yield dividend fund risky. Yeah, but what's the alternative? To stay broke? I'd rather take the risk, get the reward, or just lose. I and mean, if you, you set your stop loss, if you think it's going to tank, get out of it. Then you're maybe down a few bucks. You know what I mean? Set it, I, I'm learning now. If it drops 10%, get out. You know, there's no point. It's just going to, why ride it all the way down? So that's what I should have done with Tesla, and I didn't. And uh, yeah, you got to watch that. Just just don't always have that hopium it's going to go up. Sometimes it's best to like, you know, put your tail between your legs and go shoot. That was a bad move. And uh, yeah, I did not do it on this SPWR. That was stupid because I, I, people say it's a short squeeze. Get in, get in. That was dumb. Do not ever fall for that crap. Shorting is bad, man. It's hard. It's hard to time it. It's hard to get it right. You don't know what's going on. It's I, I never again. I mean, if anything, I'm just going to do those uh, yield max uh etfs that will balance each you know the inversion of each one like i said the crash and the tesla the nvidia nvdy and the dips and the coney and the fiat and i'm going to do a test on one of those maybe nvdy since it pays well um i don't know we'll see that's where i'm at what do you guys think I haven't made a video in a while um i think i'm done with some car videos for now if you're looking for toyota crap maintenance i've Pretty much, yeah. I'm waiting to get a steering wheel for the Sequoia and replace that because the one I have is all gummy. I got my teenage kid driving the Sequoia, which I don't like, but what are you going to do? I like to keep things nice and clean and preserve them. But yeah, you get a teenage kid driving a car, forget it. It's over, Johnny. Oh, well, you get what you get.
All right. Take care, guys. I am out. Good news. I'm glad Trump spoke at the Bitcoin conference. Things are looking good. And come on, guys. Intellectually honest time. You got to vote for that guy. Get out and vote. Everything depends upon it. Um, mainly financially for your family, for you, uh, as well as freedoms, too. Just you just got to do it. You just got to do it, man. Just got to be intellectually honest with yourself and stop being brainwashed by the other crap. Stop watching the news, man. Brainwashing works. Propaganda works. You just got to know it and recognize it and just turn it off. Uh, yep. All right. I'm out. Take care. Let's go Bitcoin.